so we left on with where if we have created a user so instead of sending a json response so what we will do we will create a message here which says uh, at the rate message uh, your account account is created successfully account is uh, you can simply give it your account is created okay so successfully so this would be a message to the user and in new.html.rb you can render this message like this so so let's again sign up so let's create on this and let's do sign up and let's create a new user new user two, and we give a simple password okay uh, let's create this and say your account is created successfully if your account is created successfully you should give them a sign up option right so you should give them a sign up option so let's move to write routes.rb so we will do get sign in and we would do to session hash new because now we are uh, instead of talking about creating a session sign in and we would put this as sign in okay i hope this is fine and in here like if this is a uh, like yeah so what you need to do uh you need to define a variable so what you need to do you need to move here and here your account is created successfully and e e Either you can do this uh, success is equal to two. success is equal to two. and what you can do you can remove this message not needed and what you can do if if add thread success uh, you can end this and end this tag as well If at the rate success you can say your account is created and you can end this tag and here you can see hrf uh, you can give anchor tag so this anchor tag you would uh, move them to the login i say click click here login i hope this is fine and now i told you a trick that you can move you can check the routes by randomly typing something here and then you can type the, you can check the path and this is the path sign in path so you should copy this path and you should be able to paste this here so this gives a value sign in underscore path and let's close this Okay, so now I hope this is fine. So let's yeah. so let's again do a sign up and you do new user three and my uh, you should give a simple password one two three four five six and here you can say your account is created. Click here to login. So when you click on this, it might return an error. So because this is a like error because you have not defined it and you can move to route.rb and this is be sessions so when you move to this and then it says is missing a template so we will create a template for that okay so we will create a template for that so for that what we are we're going to do so we need to move it here in a session we need to move in the views folder app views sessions and let's create a new file new dot html dot erv okay so let's create a heading so let's create a heading h1 tag let's create this and we need to define h1 sign in okay and in the same way 
we need to define a form okay and let's define this form okay so input type is equal to okay uh, so this form is like for the uh, sign up page input type is equal to email okay and label is equal to you can keep this as anything because uh, since you have created the user so let's keep this very quick I'll do this very quickly label is equal to uh, sorry name is equal to email and id is equal to email okay and let's close this label for email so let's create the email uh, basically this is our username also so you can comment this and put here and then input type is equal to password and we can copy this name is equal to password id is equal to password and we can do label for label for password and we can close this so this is your password now you can do input type is equal to submit value is equal to login okay so value is equal to login so what you need to do let's refresh this page and here you get a sign in right so that's great we get a sign in page now what we need to do we need to define a method is equal to post action now let's keep, uh, keep this action as empty and now we need to define a post method for for sign up we define a register for sign in we define a login okay post login and let's now we define a sessions hash create now we define this as login okay so most probably we are going to move in sessions controller and we need to find render json params just for the simplicity it is done and we have like the apps we have the views uh, we have the new.html and for here we define person is equal to login underscore path And here we also define person equal to token underscore tag. So this is how we define the token and the like HTML. So it is done. Yeah. So let's just define a user at the rate mail.com. Let's put the password one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, it's working perfectly fine. Great. So we are able to create the sign in page as well. Now we have to check for the user authentication. So next thing what we are going to do. So first we will take the user and I'll show you what we are going to do. So what we are going to do. So what we are going to do, we are going to take the email. Okay. And we say params of email. So simply see we take the email and password is equal to params of password so this is like we take and now i'll tell you you might also think for the next tutorial what we need to do new you will do something like user dot find with this email if it exists if it exists then match for password right match for password else through 
error. So this we are going to do something. If it exists, then match your password else through error. And if it matches, if it matches, then create a session. Okay. If it matches, then create a session. So that is what we are going to achieve in the next tutorial. Thank you everyone for watching this.